shows. Mike Hammer. Mac, Mike Hammer, yeah. of course, yeah. But also uh, 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 a major, like, classical theater actor. Yeah, What's, he was, uh, yeah. Hey, emptying the waste paper baskets. I do beg your pardon. Move, off, move your foot, sir, please. Thank you very much. Just the janitor. My Removing the waste paper from the waste paper box. Sorry, I, uh, uh, the, uh, I've told the cleaning staff not to come in during the show. Pardon me, sir. Yes, hello. Just Hi. lift your foot. And Sorry. Yes, uh, Kleenex. Can you just... tissue that has escaped. Since you're here, could you... Uh, do you mind uh, uh, not dumping those in the... Uh, wait. I beg your pardon. Did you have an instruction for me? I'd gladly take it, sir. Look. As you are my superior in every way. <laughs> This person looks very familiar well, to me. This is this is no janitor. This is Andrew Lloyd Webber, Lord I Andrew Lloyd. Sure, I will be on my way. No, 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 no. Come, come, come back, come back. Yes. What's this now? Please, you wish me to sir, sit down, sit down. If you, well, will. I couldn't. The very idea <laughs> of me a lonely janitor sitting in a chair with a microphone in front of it. As your superior, it simply isn't done. As your superior, I I order you. I defer to your authority. I. Uh, it was talk into this microphone, if, if you this would. This microphone here. Yes. Lord Weber, hello. Shall I, I? I beg your pardon? This is exciting. How did you address me? Lord Weber. You, uh, Lord we Andrew Lloyd Weber. Hello. Mm. Welcome back to the show. <sighs> Certainly. Uh, confused. I don't know what you mean. My name is Mike. <laughs> <laughs> your name is Mike? Mike the janitor. I, I, now I am but a lowly custodian of this uh, podcast jewel building. It, it may be I that is confused because, uh, as far as I know, do you do you know? I mean, you're from the theater. We were just talking about the theater. You you know the work of Andrew Lloyd. I Robert. say, I do. Is that Justin Kirk, the noted thespian? Oh, this is well, exciting! I can't <laughs> yeah, lie. It's great I, to I'm get thrilled. Hi, how are you? Pleasure. I am very well uh, now. To make your acquaintance, sir, I have enjoyed. It seems I have enjoyed your work on both stage and screen. But I, I cannot remember when that would have taken place. That's all right. I, I'm the last ten years. It sounds like. Well, I have the distinct uh, notion that I've seen you treading the boards, and yet I can't remember. Ever being in a theater, a lowly janitor such as myself. You can't remember being in a theater, Justin. I enjoy seeing people beat the hell out of each other with their fists. That's the sort of thing I like. I don't think that janitors. And your American really... football. I. Like MM, MMA? M is that what you're talking yes, about? Yes, uh, the mixed martial artings. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Justin, I think I had no idea that his tastes ran so. I don't think they do. I th you know what is, this sounds like to me. I crave your indulgence. It's I can't hear you whispering through these heading phones. <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, sorry. Do you, I you you mentioned that you don't remember being in a theater well, or on a stage. What before? should I ever be doing in a theater? Look, I'm wearing coveralls. Cleaning it, maybe. Cleaning, ah, yeah. the game okay. is afoot. <laughs> Mayhap I was a theatrical custodian. Well, were you? I mean... No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, what... Let me think. As far back as I can remember... Yeah, what is the last thing you can remember? Uh, this morning. <gasps> yes, this morning. This morning is the last memory you have. Yes, yes. What was that memory, if I may? Well, let's see. I remember uh, starting the day with just a terrible headache. Uh, putting on my coveralls and uh, coming into work here at this uh, where, podcast you were building. Where were your coveralls? Uh, they were right there on the floor where I apparently had left them. So you woke up, you had a headache. Yes. You saw a One of those bleeding headaches, you know, where there's a great <laughs> oh. deal of blood coming out of your head. Mm, it's, starting to, it's starting to make yeah, a little it sense. Yeah, makes a little sense what to might me. have happened. I think, uh, can you take off your headphones for a second? Because yep. I want to talk to... Certainly. I want to whisper to uh, Justin over here. Absolutely. I know my place. Justin. Yeah. I think Andrew Lloyd Webber has amnesia. Well, what are we supposed to do? Well, I've heard about um, amnesia that it's sort of like sleepwalking. You're not supposed to ever startle them out of it. So, so I think we need go to... Go along with Mike the janitor. I guess so. Or l try to lead him somehow back towards Andrew Lloyd Webber. Does I that make that's sense? that's a very generous uh, thing to do. Look, he's a friend of ours. He's a friend of the show. I would do it to anyone. I would Has do it to been... Alison Brie, who's a friend of the show. He's been a guest. Al uh, Andrew Lloyd Webber's been like a... a, a He's been on the show quite a few times. When yeah. he knew he was himself? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, uh, I feel like I owe it to him. Well, let me know what I can do to help. Well, I, I need you by my side is what I'm trying well, to I'm say. I'm not going anywhere. Okay. 
I'd appreciate it. I mean, if, if not only if you wouldn't go anywhere, but you'd actually help me. Is that possible? <laughs> I'm going to do my best. I, 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 you keep saying things like, I'm going to do my well, best. What, Just what say you'll help me. Of Just course, say, of yes, I will help you. But That's you, all I want. You, I, I guess I need direction as to what might... Okay, I'll give you direction, but just I need you. But absolutely, thank you so much. Oh my God, oh pray my gosh, that means a lot to me. forgive yes. this intrusion. Also, the name of my favorite sports television program. <laughs> <laughs> I noticed you were whispering about it for quite a long time. Yes. May I replace my heading phone? Yes, please put those back on, <laughs> Mike. I thank you, Mike. Thanks you. <laughs> uh, how can I ask, uh, Mike? Where where did you get that name? Uh, first of all, sir, you may ask me anything, and I am bound to answer it, as I am a, but a lowly janitor. And I am your boss. <laughs> yes, indeed, uh, the boss of bosses, the capo di tutti capi. <laughs> so then, um, without any further ado, how did you get that name? If I, yes, uh, well, uh, I suppose my parents gave it to me. Yes. And then uh, stitched it upon this uh, name tag uh, ah. that is uh, uh, here adorning the left breast of my coveralls. Yes, okay. So, okay. Does that make sense? That seems, that seems to make so sense. So he can still read English. Yes, okay, so you, you, are, you can read English. Oh, yes, and write it as well, if need be. Could, would you mind writing something down for us? Oh, certainly. What would you like me to write? Uh, write down your name, if oh, you could. Certainly. Let's just grab... Uh, There's a pen for pen you. Pen here. Yeah. Oh, this is proving to be difficult. Uh, well, if you know your name, yes, then I you... Yes, I certainly... My, uh, I, I'm... Uh, you see, I'm telling my hand to write the word Mike. M-I-K-E. <laughs> yes, and my, uh, my deuce in hand is not uh, obeying instructions, don't you know? What might it be writing instead? It, it seems to want to write the letter A. Huh, Which I don't understand, because my name is not a Mike. <laughs> well, then again, Mike has those peaks, much like an A does. And you're, the valley! Yes, the maybe, perhaps you're trying to write half of an M in order to get a head start on the M. Yes, well, one must write half of the M in order to write the whole of the M. You've got to start somewhere You with must, my dear boy. blasted so, letters. So please write half of that M, if you would. Go ahead and... Oh. Now I feel compelled to strike a line through this M half, mm. thus forming the letter A. Well, that's done for it. What am I doing? I don't even know how to write my own name. What a piece of work is a mic. <laughs> well, my goodness. Uh, Justin, I, 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 I feel we have so much work to... I know that we were just getting talking about the theater. Oh, we the theater! Oh. My favorite topic after mixed martial arts, of course. <laughs> I, but do you mind if we put your, your interview on hold here for uh, a bit? Uh, anything I can do. Okay. Disappointing. Can I, can I remain in the room? Well, uh, I, not, uh, not only can you, but I you must. promised yes, to back I me did. up here. I, I, I really am getting the sense that you are your head is not in... I'm only your, scared I will not succeed in okay. our mission. Tell you what, why don't we, in order Sounds to... Sounds exciting, where eagles dare! <laughs> in order to truly succeed, I feel like we need to come at it with a fresh start after we take a break. How does that sound to you? Deal. Yes? Deal, deal. Deal? deal. Okay. Deal. Yeah. <laughs> you, you muttered that <laughs> with, with malevolence. <laughs> deal. <laughs> You betcha. You betcha. All right. Uh, so we'll be right back with Justin Kirk. We'll oh, be right we're taking a break. We are taking a break. I'm going to have my shift drink. <laughs> what do you do during during a break? How much uh, do you drink? Spot of sherry. <laughs> where, where do you find the sherry? Oh, what's in this bucket? <laughs> it's a sort of gray sherry. <laughs> no, that is, that is mop water. Oh. But it might have the same effect. I wish, yeah. I'd, uh, wish I hadn't already taken a break today. <laughs> All right, we'll be right back. We'll be right back with Justin Kirk and uh, Mike. Uh, right after this, more Comedy Bang Bang. Cheerio! <laughs> Comedy Bang Bang, we're back here, and uh, a very strange thing has happened. Uh, we have Justin Kirk, of course, oh, from Animal thank Practice. thank God for that break. Good break, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I enjoyed it. Thank you all for trying the mop water. <laughs> it <laughs> not, was dis- not so bad. Disgusting. Well... Uh, it's a quiet days, I suppose. We were right in the middle of uh, a, quite a fascinating interview about the theater and mm. about uh, uh, some of Justin Kirk's uh, m- multiple roles, which is, have led him to this very studio. In I say, recording. did you mm. did you get to the part about the comedy and tragedy masks? We hadn't, but uh, would you like to start? Like, <laughs> you hadn't gotten I'd there. I'd like to hear about them. Yeah. Which came first? Uh, I'm guessing it was the same day, because you need you one need- to have the other. Yeah. No, you think they knocked them out in a day? 
Yeah. Yeah. Who no. who was the first person to draw those? Would you say uh, that Hirschfeld guy? Yeah, probably Spots was. The Ninas. <laughs> <laughs> probably was. Well, you learn a lot about theater. But anyway, what I was trying to say is, we were just in the middle of that uh, uh, interview when Mike the janitor, uh, Mike, uh, Mike the janitor walked in. Hello, it is I, Mike the janitor. And we found him to be such a curious chap that we thought we would. Perhaps talk to him about his life. Who, sir? All... Me, sir? Of course, a sir. A curious chap, sir? Well, a curious in the sense of uh, we don't often get to talk to the common man. Ah, mm. yes, of course, in these lofty towers in front of your podcasting equipment. How often do you even see the people who work below decks? They're like tiny ants to us. Indeed. Up here, uh, we're, we're up here on the Hollywood sign gazing down. That's upon right. The world. I'm just uh, running uh, around the walls like a rat in formal wear. Yes. So, uh, That's what? the plot of Downton Abbey. Downtown Abbey? <laughs> Why does that cause me so much distress to well, you're, you're an American, so you probably because wouldn't course, care if uh, I call it Downtown uh, Abbey. Why is this causing me such I don't know. It doesn't make any pain. sense to me. Oh, my, oh, my psyche is injured. That's all right. I won't mention it again. Uh, so, Mike, tell us uh, about uh, your life. How long have you worked here? Well, I've worked here probably for a good long while, I would wager. Um, um, let's see. Uh, at least uh, as of... A couple hours ago, <laughs> been working here ever since. Well, why don't we take it back a little further? You you, you mm, mentioned that you, you woke up yes. with one of your blood headaches. Mm-hmm. Yes, one of my classic Mike bloody headaches. And you, uh, you you found your coveralls upon the ground. Yes, I, I spied some coveralls lying on the, the floor. And what I were you said, wearing uh, before you spied those coveralls? Well, I suppose uh, my uh, Thank you. pajamas, uh, which is, of course... Uh, a uh, cardigan sweater, a wide whale corduroys, uh, some sort of medal, and an ermine cape. Okay, so... Oh, and a topping hat. Okay, uh, take off your headphones for just one more yes, second. Yes, certainly. <laughs> uh, Justin, that's, yeah. that's what Andrew Lloyd Webber normally wears exactly. whenever he comes yeah. on the show. So it sounds to me like he was hit in the back of the head sometime last Very night. Very recently. Yeah, and and so uh, he didn't go to bed at all and wake up without his memory. He was, he was struck upon the head, it seems S- to me. So what do we do now? Well, we need to find out whoever did it and put him in jail. That seems above our pay grade. <laughs> Can't we just get him back to? I don't being know. I'm getting Andrew paid. A, I'm getting paid a lot to do this show. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, I'm I'm game. I'm here with you. Okay. I'm just saying. I, right. That's. Uh, uh, I really need you back on this. I, all right, I'm here. All right, all right. But, uh, sir, please, Mike, put put them back on if you would. It as you wish, uh, my lord. So you were wearing your pajamas. Yes, my traditional pajamas. Uh, and you took those off? Yes, I removed them, as a gentleman does. Except for the metal, I noticed. Yes, I, I figure it's some sort of good luck charm. Yeah, okay. Yes, perhaps to ward off vampires. <laughs> I've always wondered if that's why you wear that. I mean, I've always wondered if that's why one wears a medal. Oh, well, sir, what were, what were you wondering about Mike for? I'm just Mike the janitor. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So you put on the coveralls. Yes, put on any, any other questions that you can uh, think of? To yes, please. I'm an open. These details. Uh, I'm an open book uh, to an uh, officer uh, of the theater. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm. 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 No, go on. Okay. All right. <laughs> no questions at all. Not yet. They're You're coming. Perfectly content. They're coming. Certainly. Yeah, they're building up. Yeah. <laughs> He's going to erupt like a volcano soon. Percolating. You're not Percolating like a coffee pot in the break room. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. So now you put on the coveralls. Indeed. And how it would it, it wouldn't do to walk around the office uh, uh, as God made me, or in your pajamas, or in my pajamas, yeah. uh, uh, almost equally as inappropriate. Yes. Comfortable though, uh, very comfortable. Not as comfortable as you'd think to wake up in. Mm. I suppose it must have been comfortable to go to sleep, but uh, waking up, uh, uh, the hop hat uh, creasing my face, uh, worse than any pillow. Yeah. Must have got tangled up in that cape as well. Yes, I, I thought I was in uh, some sort of cocoon at first when, yeah. I, woke, when I woke. And I thought, uh, oh, bless me, am I some sort of worm about to become a beautiful butterfly? Oh, that was your first thought. I can see how one would think that. Or, uh, you wake yes, up in that situation. It seems a morning sort of thought, doesn't it? Yes, it certainly does. So, uh, I can't be alone in waking up one day and wondering if I am about to turn into a butterfly. 
we should put that to our, our listeners. Um, if you I'll make ca- it a poll. You take yes. calls on this show? We could, sure. <laughs> if any of you have ever thought that, please give us a call here, 1-800-EARWOLF, and uh, you can get on the air here on the Comedy Bang Bang Show. Uh, so uh, my question to you then is how did you know then to come here? Well, uh, seeing the coveralls uh, and seeing uh, both a bucket and a mop next to me, I presumed, and rightfully, I should imagine, that I was a janitor, a member of the janitorial uh, service, and that I must commence my duties immediately. Mm -hmm. A custom? I donned my coveralls. I took up my trusty mop and my bucket, and I began wheeling them around, emptying waste paper baskets, and just mopping everything I saw. D- and and where? what part of town did you wake up in? Let's see, where are we now? This is Hollywood. Yes, I would say Venice. Venice, wow. How'd Italy, you get here? Italy. Venice, Italy? <laughs> yes. Wow. Um, okay, so Venice, Italy, where... Yes. Where, by the way, Justin, he vacations sometimes. We've talked about this. Yeah. It's coming together. Yeah. So you were in Venice, Italy. You yes. w- woke up, put these coveralls on, yes. found the mop, yes. walked around the streets mopping up things. Yes. Uh, why mopped did- a few gondolas. <laughs> sure. Uh, did any of them go under the bridges? Yes, and I made several wishes. <laughs> Good. And uh, wh- why did you make your way to the States then? That's That's... Well, I mean, it's where I'm from. Uh, why wouldn't I go home to the motherland, why to would- the good old U.S. of A., the greatest country on earth? Why would you think that you're from the States, though? Well, clearly, uh, I, I'm not Italian. Uh, Mike is a, is, a, is 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 not an Italian name. No, so, well, There's no letter K in that, the Italian uh, alphabet. What about that sleepwalk with me guy? That's not Italian. Uh, Mike Berbiglia? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Italo-American, I believe. Yeah, he, his his true name might be Michelangelo Berbiglia. <laughs> you could be right. <laughs> um, uh, so you, 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 you thought you must be from America. With a name like Mike, I must be from America. Mike, what could be more American? Mike. Right. Mike the janitor. S- to the States I go. Yes. So I fished in my pajamas and, of course, uh, pulled out uh, uh, loads and loads of... Uh, Cash and uh, really? purchased my way onto a private jet a and flew right to there. America. Okay, wow. I wondered if you came across by steamer, but no, it was a uh, private jet. So don't uh, know if I would have been able to make that trip uh, in one day. Oh, steamer. that's true. Yeah, yeah, this did happen this morning. Yeah. So uh, I don't think a, even a plane gets here on Monday. But that's the Concorde. The Concorde. Yeah, the Concorde. Yeah. Uh, Direct flight. Phil Collins uh, was deplaning, and I said, I say. <laughs> From Live Aid? <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> might I, might I uh, uh, procure a lift, as mm-hmm. we are fond of saying, although in England it means something else entirely. How would you know that, Mike? I say, I don't know, Mr. Rockman. I, I have no idea. What would it mean in England to have a lift? Well, I... I I have in my mind uh, a little movie of an elevator playing. Mm. Oh, an elevator. Does that make sense? It does make sense because that is what an elevator is called in England. (laughs) Why? What a ridiculous idea. I think because it lifts the people up higher, although, uh, you know, it descends as well. Why don't they call it a descendor? (laughs) (laughs) Why don't they call it a put it back and down? Yeah, that's true. I don't know. Think about that for a second. Yes, people. I'm just going to go from the seventh floor to the fourth floor on the old put them back them down. <laughs> uh, so uh, you came over to America. How did you find yourself My in this? My word, but you have a lot of questions for a lowly janitor. <laughs> well, we have a lot of time to fill. So? <laughs> I'm hardly the subject of an interview. What are you, a sort of a stunts turkle? <laughs> <laughs> Waiting for the common man to barge in here, emptying waste paper baskets and drinking from a mopping bucket. Uh, that, that's the part that gets me confused, is I don't know how you wound up here at Earwolf Studios, uh, where presumably you work. I suppose I just felt this is where I must come. It, it seemed eminently logical to me. This was the place I had to be. This was the place you had to be? Yes, yes. Uh, obviously, it uh, has some meaning for me in my life. Uh, I deduced it was my place of business. Did you ever pass by the Amundsen Theater uh, on your way here? Where what? where the, 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 the musical Phantom of the Opera played for uh, several years, I think. Uh, five years? What? No, I don't even what? know how long. Did you just say it to me? 
the musical Wantum of the Apu? <laughs> Not Wantum of the Apu. Uh, Phantom of the Opera. Phantom of the Opera. Yes. Oh, Phantom of the Opera. Doesn't you notice he's putting his Phantom hand to his face? The he's the covering half of his face. Right, and the, the kitties are asleep. Wait a minute. Just trying, Why to, am I just trying to shake the something David loose. David Letterman joke. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Ah, Although that does sound familiar for some other reason, I suppose I must. Uh, you remember? Uh, I must keep my senses. Uh, yes. Uh, uh, firing very keenly. I must. Uh, I must. Uh, I must look. I must listen to the music of the night. You know, Scott, and yeah. also smell things. It's occurring to me that. What if he... Well, I beg pardon, sir. Should I remove my heading boots? <laughs> you probably should. Can I request hey. that? Yes, please. What if he actually will be happier uh, as Mike, as the, Mike janitor. the janitor in a sort of, as a callback to Mike Nichols, regarding Henry sort yes, of way? regarding Henry. The where head he has was, been hit. He, and, you become it, a, cer- a different person, but maybe he'll be a better, maybe he'll be a better person. As, from what I understand, Andrew Lloyd Webber, n- not particularly personable. He's never been the greatest to me, <laughs> to you, be honest. And he's a guest on your show. You'd yeah, think that would be frequently. the one time to be well behaved. He's kind of rude to me, often. Maybe so you're right. It's possible that we should just... Um, Leave him as he was? Yeah, I don't know. But then again, he, he made his way here. That's what's interesting to me. He felt he needed to come here. Mm. Almost as if this was the most important place in his life. Which tells me that maybe I have a certain responsibility to him in order to shake the trees a little bit and... and Get him out of this reverie, this this Mike character, or, or maybe he finds himself in his subconscious to be sub, subliminally subservient to me, and he he, I don't know, maybe that's not making sense. I, I mean, it seems that in this setting he could be more helpful as Mike the janitor rather than. That's true. This place is kind of a shithole and we, it has needed and, cleaning and, and up. And we for don't a while. really need any more. Andrew musicals. Like musicals. Yeah, we don't. We've had our. I mean, he wrote that sequel to Phantom of the Opera. Just as I like mean, a, lots of great stuff. But I think you know, yeah. no, no one to no one to leave the party. Yeah, Mike the done. janitor, on the other hand, fresh to the world. One day, that's true. He's still got a lot of vigor, a lot of Something spring in his step. About. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, Mike. Uh, yes, Mike. Uh, go ahead. and Put those headphones back on. As you, you wish. Like as you desire. I was just admiring uh, the shapely form of a young lady out the window. Boy, I'd like to marry her and make her my fifth or sixth wife. I'd say. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's him. Yeah. Right. It's a talk. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mike. Uh, we were talking while your headphones were on, and um, we kind of think that maybe we don't have any more questions for you, that maybe you should get back to work. But we do have a dirty bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> uh, as you wish. I- I'd be happy to clean it, as it is my job, it is my station in life it to is. clean such filthy bathrooms. <laughs> well, speaking of uh, being a janitor, I think it's time to and hop we to were. it. Yes, I think it's ho- time to go back to it and uh, leave us alone, for we are... Uh, show business folk. Indeed, sir. Who need to... Uh, I shall just duck out of the room, uh, being uh, taking great care uh, not to jostle the door frame and dislodge this very shaky piece of masonry above. Uh, uh, wait, very well! What exactly I'm is he talking about? I, I haven't understood anything since he came in. Shaky here. piece of masonry uh, uh, and to be anywhere nearby. Uh, oh! Oh, no! Oh! oh, my oh, no. cranium. Oh, he was hit in the back oh, of the head. I am assassinated uh, by masonry. Uh, How dare you? What has happened? What, where am I? What? Justin Kirk, the actor. Scottrick Ackerman. Oh, he's the host of Comedy Big Bang. I he's, he's, he's what am I back. doing here? He's am not. I here at Earwolf Studios? Please let me uh, put on these heading folds over my uh, bloody head and this expanding lump upon my skull. Oh, yeah, shut that door if you would, Andrew Lloyd Webber. Uh, Scottrick, what in the world? What has happened? Oh, man, Why am I wearing this futuristic spacing suit? 
Oh, I'm just wait. excited that Andrew Lloyd Webber recognized me. Yeah, that is true. <laughs> he didn't, uh, I recognize all actors of the theater. Well, you don't have to be, so <laughs> I felt special for five seconds. Do not, sir. All right, fair enough. I despise and abhor actors. <laughs> is that why you first recognized me? Because I uh, did Oklahoma and regional no, theater in, in 1993? I am familiar really? with all regional productions of Rogers and Hammerside. <laughs> uh, God, we're never going to get that bathroom cleaned. <laughs> What's this now? Bathroom troubles? Um, yes. Uh, let me ask you, what's the what's the last thing you remember, Mr. Lord Weber? Sorry. Well, certainly. You may call me Mr. Lord Weber. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, last thing I remember. I remember being in uh, Venice, Italy. Sure. Where I, you vacation. Yes. I go there once a year to vacation and to drink a pint of canal water to keep me young. <laughs> And I remember <laughs> some wife of mine was saying, look, 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 this old building, it's crumbling all around us. Well, I looked up and um, I saw this uh, shape hurtling towards me at a very great speed. Mm. And I thought to look down. And that's the last thing I remember. Well, uh, and then you and then when you woke up, you're, you were here. Uh, yes. Mm. Yes, that's that's correct. I was here at the Earwolf Studio. <laughs> mm. All right, well, we'll get to the bottom of this, Lord Weber. It's always a pleasure to have you on the show, we uh, no matter what. Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> All right, take care. I, I'm not bothered. <laughs> okay, well, back to Venice. <laughs> <laughs> no, would anyone get to join me? I tell you what, wait, stick around for just a bit because no, I will, if I must. Yeah, uh, we have to take a, another break if we could. Uh, no. When I say another, I mean uh, our first, our first break. break. Yes, it sounds like you're. Uh, really keeping your noses to the grindstone. <laughs> yes, thank you. Uh, we'll be right back here with more Justin Kirk, more Andrew Lloyd Webber right after this comedy bang. <laughs> comedy bang bang, we're back here. I say, Scotrick. Yes. Why did you say more Andrew Lloyd Webber? <sighs> well, here's the thing. You, you noticed you're wearing a future suit. Uh, yes, this sort of uh, uh, uniform, you will uh, sort of uh, yes, sort of name taggery going on. I don't care for it. Yes. Well, uh, what is this? Logan's Run, <laughs> a musical I'm creating. Mm. Oh no! Oh, I'm excited about that. Yeah, that's not what you well. were saying before. You said they shouldn't make any more music. Uh, anyway. I do need someone to play the ice robot. <laughs> I'll give you my agent's number. Okay. Uh, uh, you, you are Spit from- it out! How dare you! You're from the future. This is tough for me to say, but you're from the future. What's this now? You're from the future, and you've been traveling, hurtling backwards in time? I say, I'm not a Terminator, am I? Yeah, you're not the T-800 nor the T-1000. And I'm not a time bobby. A time cop? No, we we <laughs> talked about that Yes, on the last time you were here. Yes. <laughs> the time bobby. Did we did? Yes. Uh, are you a time bobby? Okay, what did we establish on that I show? I believe you were the time bobby. I was a time yeah. bobby, yeah. Okay, yeah. no, no, I know. Uh, uh, no, you're not a time bobby. You're, you're from the future. You're hurtling backwards in time in order to warn those you most care about uh, uh, not to make the mistakes that they make in the future. Oh, that sounds like me, always caring about people. Can I ask you a question? Please, dear boy. How many seasons did animal practice go for? Oh, great question. <laughs> Well, uh, do they go out on top? Do they call it quits like Seinfeld? I, I'm embarrassed that I, I don't uh, have uh, all this future knowledge at my fingertips, but um, I'm going to say uh, 10 seasons. Is that good? Well, I don't know. Yeah. In uh, England, that's four episodes. <laughs> How many cycles is that? Oh, 17 series. cycles. How many that's series? Really yeah. Four episodes and 17 cycles. Three series. Oh, um, Fair enough. I'll take that. I okay. Yeah. 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 So, uh, anyway, that's why we say more, Andrew Lloyd Webber. Oh, I see. I see. Uh, because you uh, have been here. In the future? You were in the past. You were from later in the future. Does that make sense? Oh. Yes, yeah, 
I suppose, in it, after a fashion, we're all from the past, aren't we? Uh, yeah, these time travel things are very difficult to work out, but that's why you're here, and that's why you don't remember anything, because when you step through a time portal, you forget everything that happened. Well, I, I remember my previous life. Uh, you, up, your previous life? Like, you've well, been reincarnated? No, I mean, b- b- <laughs> before I ended up here. Oh, I see. Yes, uh, I, Except for today. Except for a few scant hours uh, during the day. <laughs> Uh, no, you've actually had, you've lived for another uh, six months when they invented time travel and everyone wears uh, those things in the future. Half a year? Yeah. Well, am I from the future or I've just been to the future? You're from the future. You've lived six months and then you put on that suit and then you traveled back in time to today uh, in order to tell us that our bathroom really needed cleaning and that if we didn't, if someone didn't clean it, that uh, myself and Mr. Kirk here would slip on the feces that were on the floor. (laughs) Well, then, sounds like you two ought to go clean that bathroom. Uh, That's not exactly what you had in mind, what you were telling us about before you were hitting the head. What did I have in mind? Keep in mind, I am a lord. (laughs) Well, you, you that's funny because you happened to say that right before you said the next thing. It sounds like me. <laughs> you Go said, on. keep in mind, I am a lord. That said, I am going to clean that bathroom for you because if either you or Justin Kirk step inside that bathroom, then uh, we can't be sure that that's not when you step inside it, leading to you slipping and falling and hitting your head upon the toilet, leading to the demise of the human race. My, I see, I see. My publicist did not tell me there would be time travel given circumstances here. I, I would have prepared or watched. They never do, darling. Watch they they never do. <laughs> you would have got your own jumpsuit. <laughs> I say, so clearly what's going on here mm-hmm. is I was asking you to recite an oath to clean the bathroom. That is why I would be speaking in the first person about doing such an act. <laughs> I don't think so. I, th- In fact, what you said was, right before you said, I am not speaking any kind of an oath mm. or asking you to recite any kind of an oath. Mm. And bear in mind, I am a lord, and this is extremely out of character for me, and I have never done uh, th- uh, anything like this. And yet... This is the first time I will do it, and I will do it uh, immediately. I am rather thorough. That does sound like me after a fashion. Maybe this is how Lord Weber creates each of his masterpieces, <gasps> where he becomes uh, the protagonist in yes. them for a day, and then it uh, gives... Yeah, a little, little Now, bloom. I can hear you because I'm wearing these heading phones. Oh, well, uh, I wouldn't. But you're not far off. You know, no. as Scottrick knows, I do most of my work in my dreams. Yes. Uh, and in, in dreams, in dreamland, you can become uh, anyone you wish to be. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, sometimes you'll, you'll, uh, you'll see someone in the dream and they are not themselves, but they look like someone else that you know. Or, mm-hmm. or a, a place that, you, uh, that you've seen every day will be transformed, uh, transmogrify into another place that you also know from life. And sometimes yes. uh, you... You will be both yourself and another at the same time. It's all very strange. The subconscious trying to tell you something, don't you know? Let me ask you, do you have uh, any new ideas for musicals that you might have come up with in the past, oh, few hours? Yes, yes. There's something, a uh, niggling little thought that uh, I keep thinking. Something mm. about um, being hit on the head with a bit of masonry oh. <laughs> and cleaning a bathroom. <laughs> See, that but is what I'm trying to say. Does that sound like a, a musical to you, though? <laughs> it sounds like the best musical to me. Really? You think it's got legs? I really do. Grittier than your previous efforts. <gasps> well, I like the sound of that. I'd certainly like to give them something that's going to make them squirm in their seats, yeah. the old yeah. blue hair. Yeah. I think it might go for 17 cycles. 17 cycles? <laughs> yes. Why in England? That's 150 years. <laughs> yes. I am surprised that it began with the actual head hitting. I thought it might yeah. just be the story of, of a jet. Well, then again, right. Phantom of the Opera starts with an auction, and that That's doesn't true. really make sense. <laughs> That's so. true. Everyone loves it. <laughs> really? They love that auction. <laughs> They're some, really invested in that some auction. Some people in the audience, they start to bid. <laughs> you don't yes, say. Yes, yes. And are their bids accepted? Sometimes. It depends on the production. And do you have to sell the chandelier to them after the show? Oh, you're bound by that compact at the auction. Well, actually, not even after the show. 
<laughs> Once the bidding is closed Sometimes it ruins the production Because you know that chandelier It really does make quite a big splash later on the show. Yeah it really does So when it's being carted away By a lucky audience member uh, We all sort of stand around shrugging <laughs> I have to come out to apologize to the yeah. audience I saw one of those nights It was uh, not good No oh, I do apologize And you didn't give anyone their money back No well you know they, they did see a show <laughs> He saw something akin to a show. So, I, I guess... It's not called Chandelier of the Opera. The Phantom still does all the phantomy things. Well, yeah, that is true. He kind of uh, walked around with half of his face covered and sort of looked like uh, a Dracula. Yes, and, and when the moment uh, comes where the chandelier is supposed to uh, crash uh, to the floor, yes. uh, the Phantom uh, looks up uh, to the heavens and then uh, says, Oh, that's right. Well... No worries. <laughs> no worries. Uh-huh. <laughs> that was a close one. Yeah. And then, boom, curtain. That's right. Yeah. Good stuff. And then we bow for another hour. <laughs> really? This, yes, it's this an is hour after, of curtain call. This is after act one. Yes. Hour okay. of curtain call. And then act two starts. And then act two starts. Okay. So people do get their money's yeah, worth. I guess so. Um, well, my question then is, is if, if, you, if you need to do some research for this new musical of yours, yes. maybe you should do what you promised to do and go, you know, clean the, uh, the old well, bathroom. I did take, apparently, some sort of sacred oath mm-hmm, mm-hmm. to clean this disgusting bathroom mm-hmm. that has been defiled by the likes of you two. No. <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of people come to this building. Yeah, it's not just uh, I mean, it's not just us in the building. I no. did say the likes of you two. Well, oh, fair oh, enough. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Showbiz Please. types. Uh, words mean things in my country. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, I suppose uh, as I am dressed for the task, uh, there's nothing for it, but... You're not dressed for the task, by the way. You're dressed in future clothes. Oh, so that's been heavily established. Need to put on some <laughs> other sort of coveralls? Possibly, possibly. Well, I certainly need a latex glove in which to deposit my medal. <laughs> um, all right, well, can you direct me to the nearest... Uh, Maybe your topping hat to keep the hair back. Where is my topping hat? Where have I left it? I think you left that in Venice. <laughs> that's rough. Yeah. I mean, the future. Yeah. In Venice in the future? Oh, no, Venice doesn't exist in the future. What's this now? Uh, No, Venice. How am I to live forever if I don't drink a pint of canal water? (laughs) Oh, man, I feel like I've (laughs) slipped up on this story. I hope you can catch that. Oh, man, I've, you know. Yeah. Wait Uh, a minute, wait a minute. I'm still wearing my heading phones. Oh, I feel like I slipped up on that, too. Like, I should have asked him to take I'm still wearing the heading phones. Take off. I'm just glad. I will. How dare you? You do not command me, sir. I've slain a dragon. I'm glad we got him back. I, I take it all back about wanting him to stay, Mike. The yeah. world would be a lesser place without Lord Webber. These new musicals sound good. They, Logan's Run right. and yeah, yeah. the getting hit on the head. Or maybe it can be combined about a janitor who's turning 30. Oh, <laughs> wow. I never thought of that. I'm going to ask a question. I do hope you lads will be candid with me. Hmm, I'm afraid I can't promise that. But I, I, I will. Okay. Thank you, Justin. You're a true gentleman of the theater, which is to say, a needy, despicable worm. <laughs> May I ask you, Scottrick Silence, I, re- I revoke your speaking to a Lord Privileges. Justin. Uh, Sir, Lord. Thank you. Nick of time. Uh, be honest. Was I hit on the head by a chunk of falling masonry in Venice? Then... Hopped on a Concord, freshly vacated by Phil Collins, came right here to the Evil Studios and started acting as if I were a janitor named Mike. Only to be interviewed by the likes of you two. And indeed you two. Uh, tricked into thinking I was indeed this fellow Mike. Uh, discussed at great length while I was taking off my headphones. And then, on my way out the door, where you were fine to let me believe that I was indeed this lowly custodian, was I hit on the head by yet another piece of falling masonry, thus reversing the the amnesiacal spell? Don't, 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 please don't. Scotrick? Any phones still in full event? I... I think that's what happened, yeah. Oh! Justin, I thank you for your candor and your honesty. 
and I reward you with this magical sword. Oh, what? <laughs> Where did that come is, from? <laughs> Put that away. He just pulled. <laughs> he, he pulled that right out of his coveralls. It is a trusty blade, <laughs> and it will glow brightly when any goblins are nearby. Now, is your only concern that we're not going to get the bathroom clean? Now, is that why you didn't <sighs> sort want? Sort of. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I don't. I don't care. You know what he thinks of me. I mean, obviously, you have a. Low, That's good because not much. Yeah, you have a low opinion of me. Yes, I do. The lowest, lower now. Although I guess the one thing that I haven't really gotten straight out of this whole situation. I mean, it's been a comical situation as mm. amnesia normally is. The comedy of errors. Yes. But the one thing I can't quite figure out or put my finger on is why? Why, when you had amnesia, why did you come here? To the Airwolf Studios, to a place inhabited by someone you obviously don't care about, someone you don't respect, someone you've treated terribly over the years. Well, Scottrick, I suppose that somewhere in my crusty old heart, there must reside some fondness for you and for this comedy bang bang. I suppose I came here because I thought I needed to go to a place where I could find a a true friend. And so, here I am, dear boy. Here I am. I I don't... I, I, I don't know what to say. I... I just don't think of you that way. Well... Fair enough. <laughs> I mean, you're fun on the show. I enjoy you. Oh, well. The audience seems to have taken a liking to you. Thank you. I just, we've never really talked off mic, really. You always storm out of the show in a huff. I wonder why. I wonder why that happens. Is it because I'm treated as rudely as anyone has ever been treated in <laughs> history? Oh, no. of the future oh. where I'm from? Oh, oh my oh. goodness. Good day to you both. I'm off to live in a castle. Oh. I have to ask. I mean, I, 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 it seems to me that uh, someone of the stature of Lord Weber declares that uh, he feels deeply towards you and wants a friendship. I don't know why you didn't just latch on to that. You ever see Starlight Express? Good point. Yeah.